Okay, I just started recording. Uh, so the 5S we are talking here in Japanese is uh, Shiri, Shiton, Shiso, Sikitsu, Shitsu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well or not. So uh, these are the five different words. Uh, so I had, uh, I still remember I had been with a Japanese guy, but not for the kinds and I, I've been trained with him uh, he, uh, for ISO uh, and he was a consultant here in Bahrain and um, and I, I brought it, I brought him to University of Bahrain, but I'm, I'm talking about something that is in 2006, I think so. My God, that is about 14 years ago or 15 years ago. Mashallah, life uh, runs. So, uh, so one of those, one of these five S's we have is sort. Now they put these words of of uh, Japanese into English words. However, they they maintained to keep it as S, so that we always have the five S uh, as well. So we have sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. Okay. So sort things, put things in place. Yani set in order, that means uh, you need to put things in order rather than not being in order. So if you want to do something before, put the tool before. If you want to use the tool after, put it next. Uh, shine, that means having things very clean. Standardize, because you're going to do this process every time. So you need to put a clear process that you do this, these things very organized. And then sustain, maintain that you do this thing every time. So one of the examples just to go for sort. So sorting or Siri through all items in a location, removing all unnecessary items from the location. So uh, we don't have a picture of what was this before, but we, we can see that things are organized and sorted. Sorted in what, what do we mean? Like this red area is for this shelf. Uh, there's a sign here. There's a sign here which tells what should go on this shelf and what should go on that shelf. OK, there's also a signage here what to do exactly as steps. Uh, so putting things in place. So this is a, this place. This green goes with this green. OK, and this red goes with this red. So now we know that the green sits with the green and the red sits with the red. And uh, so it's, it's just an idea of putting things in place. And, and and I would guess that um, if if you, for example, of open a drawer for for one of us, one of us, I mean, uh, as boys, uh, when we used to study in the university, you open the drawer, so I mean, you find the the green pen with the blue pen with the black pen. I don't know if you have colors actually. All oh, maybe we have ten pens. All of them are blue. Uh, but uh, for girls, they will have this green yellow and every every color is used for a certain purpose uh, for a certain reason uh, reason so so that is sorting um, like everything is clearly uh, in place when you go your to your storage at home when you go to your storage at home how is it organized uh, do you have things in place or everything is just thrown in the storage so if you want to find something in your store at home uh, will you find it or not? Uh, another example, if you go to your library, for example, uh, your your library could be organized or it could not be organized. Yani, I wish I can show you my library here. It's not that organized, but I have I have the first row for tafsir, the second row for hadith, and uh, the third row is for uh, shakhsiyat, and the fourth row is for fiqh, and uh, that's my first cupboard. The, my second cupboard, uh, the, the first row is for uh, le, the psychological, yani, yani, I don't know what they call it, ulum nafs okay? Tahdeeb uh, nafs and so on. The second one is for uh, stories for my kids. The third row is for the puzzles for my kids. Uh, the fourth row is for dictionaries, encyclopedias, and so on. And the fifth row I have for my second cupboard is for cooking books. Uh, my third cupboard, it also has something else that is to do with the university and so on. Uh, 
uh, and then the fourth row is for the English books. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, like these covers that I do have, I try to put some signs. I'm not saying that they are perfect, uh, because if I show you what I just said, that you will see some <laughs> some things that are really not in place sometimes. Uh, so so what I'm trying to say is to sort things, to put things in place and to put signs so that you know if, uh, where to put them because you forget where is the place where you put your uh, your stories, for example. Um, so if you if you put just a note like the one that you go to the library, if you go to any library, uh, you will always f see those uh, chemistry books, for example, or biology books. It's written there. What, what is the area of that shelf that you're trying to look at? So again, what you're trying to do, you're going to try to sort things, sort things and sort things means also that you remove any unnecessary items where it's written here. Reduce time loss, loss uh, looking for any item by reducing the number of unnecessary items. So if you don't need them there, just remove them. And uh, and look at, for example, you're all of you are sitting on a, uh, well, hopefully you're sitting on a, uh, on a, uh, on a, of course, uh, a chair with a table, uh, like I'm doing now. Uh, uh, maybe some of you are lying on the bed, so um, my example is not on that. Uh, but while if you're sitting on a uh, on a, a table, a chair, uh, look at your table. How organized it is. Uh, does your pen go to a certain place? Sorted. Uh, where does your mobile sit? Uh, where does your notebook sit? OK, and so on. Uh, are there any unnecessary items sitting at your table uh, and it had been sitting there for a very long time and it is unnecessary to be sitting there? It's an unnecessary item. So why, why it is not removed? So uh, so what you're what's happening is that you're reducing the ch chance of distraction by those unnecessary items that are always in front of your eyes and are never removed. OK, so like I have kids, so I have boys and girls for all all different ages from university. Uh, my first one just joined uh, till the youngest one who is uh, eight years old. So I can see the, the 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 differences and I can see these all these examples uh, that I'm just mentioning. So uh, number three is simply inspection. Simplify inspection is that what is that now, if, uh, if uh, a supervisor comes and looks at this place, uh, he knows that everything is in place. So he can easily inspect the place of the workers. So that is number three, which also helps in sorting. Uh, increase the amount of available user space. So if you can make uh, use of the space, that's better. And of course, if you remove any unnecessary items, you will always find that you have space which doesn't mean that you need to fill the space because space is also gives some kind of a peace of mind uh, to you. Um, I know that many of you says that يعني, to his mom or يعني, uh, especially your mom, يعني, don't move any papers from my table because I know every paper where it is sitting and I know why I want it. Uh, so so just by putting the papers over each other, uh, then it, you become panic and because everything is disrupted and not in place. Why does this happen? Because you are just putting it on the table without any kind of sort. Uh, that your sort is in the head is very short term just for the assignment to be submitted at a certain time. Uh, and that is the problem. So uh, yes, you need to sort things really well. Increase safety, of course, by eliminating obstacles, and uh, this is something straightforward. So that is that is the sort. That is the sort. You see all of your items. What are your items? You put them in place. As simple as that. So check all items on location. Remove any unnecessary items. Keep the working floor clear and materials except for those that are used for production. So you, simply, simply you're organizing things in place. It's very straightforward. I had been explaining it now with many different examples, even though that doesn't need examples because it is straightforward. Uh, setting things in order. Uh, is putting all necessary items in the optimal place for fulfilling their function in the workplace. And uh, it means that making the workflow smooth and easy. 
Now, uh, putting things in place, um, the, the picture is not that clear, but if you see this, these signs at the bottom here, uh, these signs just tell you what are the things that you're going to be using, which is part of setting it in order. Uh, and that's number one. Uh, well, number two, if you put things in place, you also should put them in order. Maybe you want to use this work uh, lift, uh, forklift uh, before you use something else. So you need to put things in order so that you don't waste uh, waste your time. And, and, and setting things in order, um, uh, for example, you're sitting for an exam. And when you're putting sitting in an exam, you put your pen, your pencil, your rubber, your uh, calculator. You put your calculator on your left. You put your pen on your right. Uh, and it, and this is the way of how I'm thinking, right? And maybe similar to you. Uh, why I'm doing this? This is part of uh, setting things in order because when I try to use a calculator, I know where I could find it. And when I try to use the, my uh, pen, I know where to find it. And I also put them in order where the one which is more frequent uh, is the one that I'm going to be keep it closer. And the one which is less frequent, I'm going to keep it further. An example of things, setting it in order, for example, if you have a store at home. Now, if you have a store at home, do you put in the store, for example, you're putting some uh, soaps and shampoo and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and the things that you're using frequently. And you also have some other things at store, for example, uh, which is to do with, for example, batteries, uh, what else, screwdrivers, and and uh, and and something something else. Uh, now, which one is more frequent? The one which is more frequent are the things that you use for yourself, which is the shampoo and the soap and so on. So now, what is what is going to be set uh, closer to you? when you open your store. The one which is closer to you should be the things that you are using more frequent. And and again, uh, this is all part of what part of uh, having things easily uh, done, um, uh, easily accessible. The idea is that your 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 work now is better performed. Why? Uh, because you're having things in order. If it is, was not in order, imagine that you have things in every place just scattered here and there in your store. It will be a, a big trouble for you. And imagine you always have the shampoo at the end and you need to go through all the store uh, to get to the end. And then you get distracted by many things on the way. Uh, and, and this is something else as well. So setting things in order is really, very important. So make the work flow smooth and easy. Uh, implementation arrange workstation in such a way that all equipment is in close proximity. So, and, and, and again, in close proximity, depending on the frequency, in an easy to reach spot and in logical order, logical order, the things that you need most comes before and so on. Uh, place components according to their users. Uh, with the frequently used components being nearest to the workplace. We already mentioned that. Arrange all necessary items so that they can be easily selected for use. OK, so that you can use it, you can access it, you can hold it. Uh, 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 for example, you not keep something that is, uh, for example, tissue. I don't know how much tissue boxes you have at home and you keep them at store, for example. I'm just giving examples for something that I do at home. I don't know if you do it or not, uh, but I have, for example, store. I keep some packs of tissue. Uh, packs. Where where do I keep them? Do I keep them at the uh, a second shelf, which is at my level, or a higher shelf, uh, which could be at a higher level? Now, if you're talking about a, sh a shelf which is a higher level and something that you're using frequently, uh, that will be really difficult uh, for you. But something that you don't use frequently, you can keep it at a higher shelf. Uh, however, you will not keep it at a very high shelf that it becomes very disrupting and very disturbing that every time you need a tissue box, you need to take a ladder and, and get that tissue. Uh, I don't know if he got that or not, but uh, I hope that you're listening to my voice now clearer. OK. Uh, if there's anything, just send a message again. Or just uh, pop in with, a, with, the, with your voice. 
So again, so what we are trying to say here is to put everything in order. Again, the equipment, which is most frequent, you keep them closer to you. You arrange all necessary items so that they can be easily selected. Uh, an example of lower shelf and the higher shelf. Assign fixed location for items, which is also part of what part of uh, what we mentioned that that you need to sort them. You need to sort things. Things are put together which are related to each other. Uh, putting labels, marks, hints, all of these count. So what you see at the ground counts here. Uh, what you see here as labels, all of them count. Uh, and, and, and it makes a lot of difference. Labels make a lot of difference. Believe me, like I know you know, already know that, but if you have a bookshelf at home without labels, you're going to have a mess. Uh, so he, he, labels are really good and very uh, uh, supportive. Uh, number three, after you have things together and sorted, and then you have everything in order uh, set for you, and the closest ones are closer to you, uh, why, why do you keep them in an unneat? Uh, this one is neat, of course, or, or what I'm showing here. But why do you keep it uh, in, 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 a, in a way which is not neat or well uh, well put uh, clear in front of you? Now, what you see here is something that is good. Why? Because uh, we can see that th this is part of shine, huh? shine. Shine, that means everything is clean and clear. OK, clean and clear in what sense? OK, so this has green and yellow. Uh, I don't know what's green and yellow exactly uh, means, uh, but I'm, I'm def I definitely understand that it is related to anything that has a green label or a yellow label. Uh, something else, uh, I can see things organized. So these um, broomsticks that we have here or for sweeping sticks, uh, we can see them organized, the towel, uh, uh, papers that we have here, uh, those drum bins here and there. It's, it's like they are kept and it is designed for them to sit there very organized. And you just imagine if they are not organized, what you're going to do, you're going to put these bins all over each other. This bin inside that bin and that bin inside that bin and maybe this one inside the, the other bin and then you don't have any space for those bins. Maybe you throw one these two towel uh, paper towels inside that bin. You also throw the sanitizers and the sprays. You also throw them inside the bin. And then if you need the bin, you need to take out everything outside so that you can use the bin. And and maybe some of the spills of the spray fa falls on the tower uh, paper. And if you have things not organized, this is what you have. OK, uh, if you have uh, uh, you're going to have something which is not good. Of course, if you have things organized, you're going to see something that is in place. And you also can easily notice if you are missing something. OK, you're missing something. Why? Because it's also written here that what are the items should be uh, sitting here. Uh, and of course, if you don't see something sitting at the top here, you know that you forgot something. OK, if you don't see your three sticks here, you know that you're forgetting something. Uh, if you don't uh, find uh, this item here, I forgot what it's called. Uh, you're also going to know that you have forgotten something. So what I'm trying to say is that clean, put everything very clear, organized. Uh, on what I'm trying, what I'm saying here, which is Kaizen, but maybe some of you will say, well, uh, this is like it's just organizing. That's well. Uh, it has yani, what you're talking about is just common sense. I know I know it is common sense and uh, and I, I know that it is part of our Islamic culture is to have all these things that you're looking at. Uh, but uh, what we are talking about people who did not have this kind of culture and they, they are trying to create something that is really good. And then we, of course, we are using those tools and we discovered that we already have these things in place. Uh, and, and, and it should be part of our culture. Uh, however, when he puts it in a certain technique uh, that he's using, uh, it becomes very supportive, very helpful. Uh, why? Because he's putting some words easily to be memorized and, and, and then we can put things 
يعني يعني we we can make it a, a kind of a technique or a kind of a, a process flow that you think a way a way of thinking if I would say it's like a mindset uh, where it, you put things in order and it becomes very organized. Okay, so what are the goals of shining? Improve the production process efficiency, safety, reduces waste, prevents errors and defects. Errors and defects because you have everything in place. Keep the workplace safe and easy to work on. Safe because you have everything, chemicals by its own and all everything in its place and not dumped over each other. Like dumping over each other, if you want one item, uh, you just imagine um, uh, 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 at home, if you have really a big store, and they are not organized, you're going to fall many times on the way because there are things on the way. You want to pick one stick, but the stick is, sticks, is, is sticked to another stick, and in which makes you uh, just double fall down and, and uh, triple falling out uh, on the ground. Uh, keep the workplace clean and pleasing to work in okay uh, when in place anyone not familiar to the environment must be able to detect any problems within 50 feet in five seconds so when you come on and you look at that you know that things are okay so this is this is part of what they are trying to say here implementation uh, implementation is the easiest way what do you do you clean the workplace equipment on a daily basis uh, at, and at another appropriate cleaning interval a cleaning interval that means every 10 minutes, every one hour, every two hours uh, for, for the cleaning part. Inspect the workplace and equipment while cleaning, just inspecting. Now, fourth is the standardized uh, part and uh, doing the standardized thing is, uh, uh, is just to put things uh, standardized, <laughs> uh, to standardize the processes used to sort, order and clean the workplace. So we already have these things, right? We already so sorted order clean the workplace, uh, but we need that just to put the, these three things standardized so that I can use them always. Uh, the way of standardizing here, the example that they're putting here, uh, make a drawing so that you know what you're going to put here. Uh, why? Because sometimes it's difficult to, to identify. I'm going to put this tool in the middle, okay? So I'm going to put this tool in the middle. I'm going to put it here. For example, by mistake, I'm saying. So while you're trying to put it here, because the, the drawing, which is under that uh, spanner, uh, because the drawing is under that spanner does not fit, you know that it, is, it, it will not fit here. OK, because there is a drawing under each one, which mentions that, uh, that it should be sitting there. OK, then you easily can mis be mistaken if you don't have this drawing. So it's a very simple idea where you standardize things through a drawing here, putting drawings here. You can see this pipe wrench, for example, there's a drawing under it. And, and you already can see that there's something which is, <laughs> which is put not in its place. It's just an example. This should be put in that place here. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the the drawing itself helps you to make things uh, easy uh, and applicable, and uh, and uh, and you also can go through many examples. And I had been seeing um, I had been seeing uh, Wendy. Ah, please, ho oh, oh. ho. Okay, so. You already all know this this guy Ahmed Shigiri, yani. and he was just explaining. I know it's in Arabic, but he was just explaining a kaizen idea, um, and and while he was explaining this kaizen idea, and he's showing that uh, they they call this kaizen form. I know, I know. Sometimes you say this is very simple, Danny. We everyone can do it. I know it's very simple, but it's just like a mindset. If it clicks with you, it will click everywhere in your life. بالكايزن فورم جاست لوك ات وتحتاج مشرط وتقوم بتقطيع الفلين على مساحه المنتجات اللي تبغى تحطها فيها للترتيب مثلا عندنا هنا القلم هذا حطه كده تعمل عليه ماركر بعدين تاخذ المشرط تشيل العمق اللي تبغاه تتحكم انت بالعمق 
تمام وصار عندك مكان لي القلم ده فصار عندك الان مكان لكل حاجه الآن صار عندك درج منظم ومرتب وكل منتج له مكانه الخاص الميزة أيضا في السيستم ده أنه هتقدر تعرف إذا في شيء ناقص فمثلا المحايا ناقصة فورا هتكون عارف أنه هنا في شيء ناقص وبالتالي تعرف إيش لازم تعبي إيش لازم تشتري إذا في أحد أخذ منك شيء هتكون عارف أنه في شيء ناقصك هنا هتكون عارفه وبالتالي هيحسن التنظيم المكان هيكون Of course you can see this is before and I think so this is an example of most of our drawers and this is after uh, where you think things becomes much more organized and uh, it, this is just an, a quick example of course uh, he talks about how to apply those examples on a higher level uh, for example he went to an example where in emirates they applied uh, kaizen and and they managed to reduce the number of staff members from 12 people to two people only why because they re-engineered all the processes and they found out that Two people is much more than enough to do all the processes, organized, set in place, uh, standardized, who will do what uh, exactly, uh, and so on. Uh, so you, you can go uh, la later uh, to, to the details of, of Kaizen. This is another way of Kaizen for paper, only for paperwork. Okay, so what do you do with your paper? You have five uh, five steps of of how to deal with your paper, uh, what you what you need to process, what you need to throw in the dustbin, uh, what you need to keep in your paper uh, uh, tray, and what you need also to keep for long storage, and 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 all of that is explained here. Uh, so uh, this is part of Kaizen uh, going back. Uh, just to give you the idea of or standardizing things. OK, uh, so th that that is an example. It could be applied, of course, I told you to much more uh, complicated examples, but uh, Kaizen is as simple as that. OK, it's as simple as what you're looking at here. Uh, OK, uh, for example, and there, there was one guy, he was. Uh, uh, I forgot his first name. Uh, He's, he's Bahraini, um, so he, he presented uh, one of the Kaizen sessions to us. Uh, uh, ah, I forgot his name. I think his name is Dhiya. Uh, Dhiya is, an, uh, is, is both feminine and masculine name, and that is why it's confusing my head. Whatever, so what he showed us, he showed us that one of the cups that he designed as part of Kaizen idea, where you can only hold it with your right hand. If you hold it with your left hand, you feel there's something wrong. So you go and hold it with your right hand. So the, the cups are designed so that you can drink it with your right hand only. Uh, OK, so so this is just an idea of how you, you do things. Uh, uh, in, in a way, just to make people do something in a standardized way, standardized that means always use the right hand when they want to drink, uh, just by shaping the, the design of, of the cup. There's always different small ideas that makes things difference, different. Sustain, sustain that means you need to do this thing again and again. You want to do it again and again, you need to have training sessions for your employees, for your workers, so they they can do this thing again and again. And and, and other than the training sessions, you need to do audits. Uh, audits that means you you just follow them. You look at what they are doing. You look at their work if it is correct or not. And and actually, if you if you want to a scout programs, uh, I I had been in a scout program when I was young, uh, uh, even in the university. Um, and part of that, of course, they, they train us what to do, how to work, how to fix things, uh, and so on. And part of it, of course, they do audits on us. Uh, every uh, day they have uh, two audits, maybe, uh, where they come to you and you know what time they're going to come and they look at your way of uh, clothing, uh, your place, if it is organized, your, your, um, 
your sleep bag is in a certain place, your blanket is at a certain place, your towels are put very, uh, it, it has some water towels, so sh you should be careful that you don't put it near something that is related to electrical equipment and so on. Uh, so they have regular audits where they uh, look upon you. Uh, implement improvements whenever possible. Uh, worker inputs, of course, you, you, uh, whenever possible, that means when you audit and you find that there's a problem, you're going to implement the improvement. Uh, and of course, you're going to make the change. And of course, if any issue arises, you're going to identify the reason, the cause, and then implement the changes, which is also part of Kaizen, the continuous improvement thing. So to wrap up everything that we have just mentioned, so if you are going to put Kaizen as as small, medium, or big change, Kaizen is the small change, okay? Uh, however, things uh, are at medium and bigger level, we, there are other tools that uh, do care about that. So uh, Kaizen is more towards the small change, uh, but it makes a difference. It makes a lot of difference. And, and if you wanted to make a basic rules for practicing Kaizen, I mean, if you go to internet, you're going to find many different ways of writing these uh, practicing to, uh, Kaizen ideas. The main idea is that what you, you you identify what you want to make better and then you implement it. It's a part of plan, do, check, act. OK, uh, plan it, do it, check if it's working and then act upon it, standardize it at the end of the day. OK, and that is what is tr trying to talk about here. So pre prepare people to accept change for the better. Uh, think of how to do it. Uh, why it cannot be done, do not make excuses, do not seek perfection. Uh, even if I get only 50% of the target, correct mistakes at once. But all what you can see here is like dealing with with workers uh, within a company, because if you're working with management, uh, if you talk about this with management, uh, I, they will not accept this at all. I'm talking about top management. OK, so these are things that you can apply at uh, at a lower management level or things that are handy that you need to work by hands. Uh, if you work in a in a con in a plant, chemical industry plant, uh, it's very difficult to say that do not make uh, excuses and uh, that you cannot. I mean, we do not accept excuses. Uh, you need to make things right. Uh, we do not accept 50 percent of target. We only accept 100% of target. Of course, Taban, I'm talking about top management is different. Uh, but when I go down uh, into things, uh, you have mistakes, uh, correct mistakes at once. So uh, what I'm trying to say is different to deal with p workers that are working at uh, 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 having their hands dirty uh, in the workplace. And it's different when you're talking to top management. So to be careful not to confuse. Uh, with, with these two things there, uh, just be careful. Uh, um, I, I, that, I have nothing to say more except that if there's more comments to say on Kaizen is that uh, employee participation is very key uh, to this improvement because they are the ones who are responsible. They are the ones who are sitting in the workplace. So they are the ones who may be uh, uh, the best people uh, to tell you what to do and what to change. And, and when you want simple actions uh, that are very effective, uh, it comes from the employee who has his hands dirty in the workplace. Uh, that is the person that you need to return to because definitely he knows how to make things better, better than you as a top manager, uh, because you're planning for the future, but you don't know what's going down there. They're the ones who have their hands dirty and know what's going on. So don't wait for drastic changes when you talk about Kaizen. OK, uh, to talk about continuous improvements leads to accumulated improvements. So that is what you're trying to do. Uh, Kaizen is a process oriented thinking and not result oriented thinking. And be careful of that. Why? Because uh, you already have the result oriented thinking into your mind. But when you deal with the workers, you're concentrating that you're doing a good effort. We are going to make it better. Uh, so he, he is process oriented. Uh, in other words, many people become happy when they meet. Uh, when they meet, uh, for example, uh, in one month, 
I had 10 meetings this month and he's very happy that he made a great achievement. And what was his achievement is 10 meetings. But the result oriented is not 10 meetings. What was the outcome of those meetings? OK, did you make a difference to the people? Did you make a difference to your workplace? Uh, but Kaizen talks about what? Process oriented. Of course, you have this result oriented thinking in your mind, but the workers, you need to value their work and their process. And that is what we are trying to say here so that you can get the self-discipline of the worker, time management of the worker. They have the skills, they are involved. You're communicating with them with all moral and respect. So, so this is what they get out of you. But you have this in mind. You have this in mind. Uh, sometimes you tell them, I don't care. You get it done. Just give me one result. Uh, this is how you reflect at some time, but you have, of course, the results in mind because at the end of the day, you want to improve to achieve your results. Oh, mashallah, uh, mashallah. OK, great. So we did a good job today. We finished with Kaizen uh, we finished with this PowerPoint, this longest PowerPoint I have in my whole <laughs> teaching life career. Uh, and next time we are going to get to something different, which is ISO. It is totally different. Uh, totally different is something else. Uh, maybe there are some concepts similar, but it is a different thing. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, I do, Doctor. Finally. Doctor, يعني هو كايزن زين حق ترتيب الحياة اليومية مثلاً أو to make يعني things tidy and so on. But how can we apply it in our field? يعني مثلاً in a plant or in a مثلاً Hello, مثلا مثلا مصنع صابون يعني uh, if you're talking about the soap for example uh, you have materials to mix uh, within your process how are your materials stored are they labored or not uh, what are the tools you are using uh, are the tools uh, put in a place that there is easily accessible or not uh, is there is there a, a possible that one of the tools uh, is is uh, is on the way to get to one of your materials so you drip over it or one of the tools falls inside one of your materials and I'm, I'm just giving many examples and it's all about organizing yani bas hadi hadi mithal yani yani if you if you get into your room you want to put your helmet off where do you put your helmet if there's no place to put your helmet except on your control table station that means your helmet is going to be uh, on your way to see your uh, your uh, your station in front of you or it could be pressing on the keyboards because you don't have a place to, to put your helmet now everyone puts his helmet uh, uh, why why helmets are all sitting there and now we don't know which one is your helmet uh, can we make it more organized so that everyone gets his helmet and you don't waste time everyone searching for his helmet and it is lost and and uh, and now he wants to go to uh, some there's a problem within the plant and he needs to run uh, but he don't know where is his helmet okay yani مثلا, i'm just just giving an example how you can make it more efficient uh, good good examples always make things mashallah uh, better to understand yes, thanks thank you Dad. Inzin, yaatikum al afiyah. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you, inshallah, on uh, the Thursday. Thursday. Yaatikum al afiyah. Barakallahu fiikum. Wa bi tawfiq. Maasalam.